Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing a star animation that looks a bit like this. We're not going to do all of it because this is a bit of an overkill, like seven twinkly stars. We'll just focus on one, then you can copy it all over a starry night sky. Let's get right into it. So we've just got a blank presentation here, and all we're going to do is just change the layout to blank. We're also going to go to design and just format the background to either a dark blue or a, a black. I prefer black because that's like really dark night sky, like midnight. So now we're, all we're going to do is just add in one small dot and we're just going to size that completely down. So hold control shift, which will size it down perfectly um, as a circle and also in its center. Now we're going to make the shape outline in the shape format tab, nothing and shape fill white. Okay, so we've now got just a white dot in the night sky and we might also want to um, just a bit it doesn't really matter, you can just choose how much, I think that's fine. And now what we're going to do is add the star shape in. So you just need to go into this shape bit here in the home tab and just click on more. And we're going to go to stars, which is here, stars and banners. And we're just gonna choose this four point star, right, star right here. Just click and then you'll have a star yourself. Now we can make this star a bit bigger, so control shift once more. And we can pull this arrow, this this orange dot down, until you've got a star shape that you'd like. I like it quite thin, so I'm just going to make it up there. You can always make it thinner or thicker, however you feel is right. What you have to do is also just hold both the shapes, go shape format, align center, and align middle. Now what we're going to do is just make this shape fill white and shape outline nothing. We can also group together them and then just go align center and align middle so that we've got it in the middle in the middle of the slide now go Control shift g to ungroup it now we're going to add the animation so this animation is going to be quite simple there's going to be no animation to this to this dot right here because that's just going to be a star in the night sky what we're going to do is just go animations and make it going into the more uh, the more animations and going more entrance effects and then pressing on basic zoom under moderate then you can go add animation and add a basic zoom out here in moderate. And then we've got two basic zooms on here. So you can see if I play it, it right now looks like this, which looks okay, but obviously we wanted to spin to get that sort of um, sparkly effect. So we just go add animations and we're gonna go spin. We can double click on it in the animation pane over here, which you can get by clicking up here. And we're gonna just add a smooth start of 0.5 and, and 0.5 now what we can do is we can just make the this animation one second long and we can just pull it up in the animation pane just between the two animations now highlight all of them by going clicking on the top one holding shift and then clicking on the bottom one and then change the start up here to with previous we're going to make the basic zoom has a delay of 0.5. Now if we play it, you can see we've got a sparkly star. Um, obviously you can slow it down as much as you want, um, if you want to, and right now it's, it's quite fast and you can change it by, by going, by clicking on that animation and going effect options and making it a half spin, for example. And then you can see that is our sparkling star. Obviously you could copy this and stagger the animations if you want, but I won't be doing that in this video. In my next video, I'll be showing you a Christmassy um, scene using these, these starry, starry stars as the main feature of them. So watch out for that. And if you haven't already, click on this video right here to look at this satisfying snow animation and learn how to do it in PowerPoint. See you next time.